importing data in phpMyAdmin. This tutorial will show you how to import data in phpMyAdmin. For this tutorial, we are connected to phpMyAdmin using the root MySQL user. When connecting as another user, some options may be disabled, dependent on the server's configuration and the specific privileges granted to the user by the system administrator. On systems configured to use Plesk, the master MySQL user is the admin user instead of root. Many systems are configured with control panel software installed used to delegate the administration of the accounts on the server. Whenever possible, it is recommended that you use the controls within the control panel itself for certain tasks, such as the creation of databases, creation of users, management of user privileges, etc., instead of phpMyAdmin. Performing these tasks outside of the control panel can produce undesirable results in the operation of the control panel software. On Linux-based systems, database names, database users, Table names and column names are case sensitive, whereas on Windows based systems, these names are case insensitive. Click the import link. Click the browse button. Click the file. Click the Open button. Select the character set of the file. This should only need to be changed if the file was exported or altered using a character set different than the database is or will be using. This allows you to do a partial import of the data in the event that importation of the entire file fails. This is useful when attempting to import large databases that may time out due to limitations of web applications and or in the server configuration. This value is used to skip initial lines that were previously imported in a partial import when attempting to resume the importation. Select the SQL compatibility mode. Here you can have the dump converted from syntax that is compatible with older versions of MySQL or other SQL-based database engines. Selecting None will use the current version of MySQL installed on the server. Click the Go button. Now let's look at the options under a particular database. Click a database name. Click the Import tab. These are the same options, except that the database we are using is assumed if it is not specified in the dump. Databases exported using the options under the Export tab of a particular database will not include the command to create the database itself. Therefore, you will need to import these using the options here instead of the previous location. Dumps made using the Export option on the main menu will have the statement and thus can be imported from either location. Since the dumped files being imported are simply a series of SQL commands in a text file that are executed to reconstruct and or repopulate a database, other automated functions can be executed from a text file using the importation functionality as well. In the case that the commands you are executing do not affect any particular database, then either location can be used to execute the list of commands. When the importation of large databases fails due to timeouts and or errors caused by the limitations of web applications and or the server configuration, 
You can also import the data directly from the shell. This is the recommended method in most of these cases. Congratulations! You now know how to import data in PHP MyAdmin.